She never goes to the movies alone. Yesterday she got some paper and tape and weatherproofed her window. Everything that happened to her was so long ago that she doesn't even feel that it happened to her. No one waits for her this New Year's night. Books and toys crammed back to back, look down sneering from their shelves into the room. She pretends she doesn't know what's up. She'll clean up, smoke, and go to sleep. Once she had a friend, but no more. Winter came on time this year. It's snowing and the Christmas trees are lit. But in the midst of all this, she is totally alone. Others would howl and climb the walls. The clock strikes midnight. The local fireworks explode like a cheap bouquet. She too wants a miracle tonight. She would make a wish that he would phone. But she knows tonight. The circuits are overloaded even without her call. So she lies down, alone in her double bed, after shutting the door, drawing the curtains to hide from other people's holiday fuss. Then a tired god enters her quiet room, looking for a place to rest overnight. Those waiting for miracles are anxious. The piddly fireworks keep popping away. And the god sits like a small, wise mouse, and the god thinks, how good that you are silent. Sleep, and don't ask me for anything. She Never Goes to the Movies Alone by Katerina Babkina Translated by Virlana Tekatz and Wanda Phipps I'll see you tomorrow.